Hello second grade and welcome back to our math story series. Now yesterday the few friends that did turn it in got a little bit stumped on yesterday's problem. These are getting trickier and trickier so you need to pay very close attention to the wording of the problems to see what you are actually trying to solve for. So as usual, please send me your awesome, awesome work to these equations. It really helps me see what you're getting and what we need a little bit more support on as we keep working through these problems. But I love the hard work that I have been seeing from some of you on our problems. Now, Math Story 6.11 today says, Molly gets $100 for babysitting. She spends $25 on a present for her sister, and she puts the rest of the money in a jar. She then gives some money to her brother. Now she has $60. How many dollars did Molly give to her brother? All right, this one is tricky. There is a lot in this problem, a lot of different words and different moving pieces. So let's break it down a little bit more. Molly gets $100 for babysitting. So right there, that is our total number. She's got $100. She never gets any more money from anybody else. So 100 is our main number, our total number in this problem. The first thing that she does is she spends $25. Well, we all know that if we spend money, we are getting rid of it. So she had 100, she spent 25, which means we need to subtract. So let's start by drawing a place value block picture. Now our hundreds look like this, just a square, a flat. But she spends $25. I can't cross out 25 from just this group of 100, which means I need to trade it in. I can't just use a big group of 100. So let's trade it in for some tens. Now we know that there are 10 groups of 10 in 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10 groups of 10. So I'm going to trade it in and draw those 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Those 10 groups of 10. So now we see that this is another way to show 100. All right, so she spent $25. Five, five ones, but I don't have any ones right now. So we need to trade in a group of 10 for 10 ones so that we have some to cross out. So I'm gonna cross out one of my groups of 10 and trade it in for 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so now I've got tens and I have ones to be able to subtract my 25. So 25 has five ones, so we need to subtract five of them. One, two, three, four, five. And 25 has two groups of tens. So we need to subtract out or cross out two groups of 10. So there we go, we started with $100. We had to trade in a group of 100 for 10 groups of 10, but we still didn't have any ones, so we had to cross out and trade one group of 10 for 10 ones to subtract the 25. So this is showing 100 minus 25. Now let's count and see how much money she has right now. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. So right now, she's at $75. Again, she had 100, she gave 25, sorry, she spent $25 on a present. So we had the 100, we got rid of the 25 that she spent, which left her with $75. All right, let's see what she does next with her money. She then gives some money to her brother. Some money, it doesn't tell us how much she gives to her brother. Now she has $60. Okay, so she had $75, she gives away some, and when she gives it away, she is left with $60. So how many dollars did she give to her brother? So when we are thinking about our parts and totals in this problem, right now 75 is our total. That's how much money she has. She gives away part of it to her brother. We don't know how much she gives to her brother. That's a mystery. But we do know that she'll be left with $60 after she gives it to her brother. So the $60 plus whatever she gives to her brother is the total of 75. So we need to take our 75 and subtract out the 60 that we know she has 
to see how much she gives her brother because we can think of this as a missing add-on problem. That the $60 she has left plus whatever she gave to her brother is going to equal 75. So we have to do 75 minus 60 to find this missing number. So we've already got a picture up here of 75, so I'm going to keep working right with this picture to subtract out 60. Now this should be nice and easy because we don't have to cross out any ones, we don't need to borrow or trade anything, we just need to cross out six groups of 10. So let's cross out one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, there go my six groups of 10. So now we need to figure out how much did she give to her brother? What is that other missing piece? So let's count up and see what place value blocks we have left. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So she must have given her brother $15. So the answer to this problem, how many dollars did Molly give to her brother, would be $15. Now let's think about an overall equation that represents our work. Well, we started with the $100 that she made from babysitting. Then we subtracted the $25 she spent on a present. Then we had to subtract the 60 that she had for herself, that she kept to figure out that she must have given away $50. So this problem, it was two different steps, but they were both subtraction steps. We had to take her 100 total minus the 25 she spent minus the 60 we know she kept to find out how much she gave to her brother. So here is our overall equation. 100 minus 25 minus 60 equals 15. That $15 answer. All right, so that was method number one with our place value blocks. Let's see what this problem looks like if we were to solve it using an open number line. So, we're going to start with that $100 that she has total. We know she spent money, which means we need to subtract, so we have to jump backwards to where our numbers would be smaller on the line. So, I'm going to put my 100 all the way over on the right side. Now, she had $100, she spent $25, so we need to jump back 25. So we can do two jumps backwards of 10, two groups of 10. 100 minus 10 would be 90. 90 minus 10 is 80, but it's 25. So here you have the option of doing one jump backward of five if you're good with your five skip counting, or you could do five jumps of one. Either way, we'll get you to that 75. 80 minus five is 75. So there's step one. She started with $100. She spent 25, so right now she has $75 left. Now, there are two different ways to show the next step on an open number line, and I'm going to show you both of them. So let's start with the way that we would typically do it, that we've been doing it before. We're going to start with the number 75. That's how much money she has right now. And as we said when we were just talking through this problem, we need to subtract 60 because we know that she has 60 left over, so we have to find that other missing piece that she gave to her brother. So we're going to start at 75 and we're going to do six jumps backwards of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And these are all minus 10 jumps. This is some great skip counting practice for us as well. So 75 minus 10 is 65, 55, 45, 35, 25, 15. So yet again, it gets us to those $15. Now, we can show this exact same step another way. It might be a little bit trickier for your brains to wrap around this concept, but it also kind of matches the layout of the problem. She's got $75 right now. We know that after she gives her brother some money, she'll have $60 left. So the other way to think about this problem is to see how much we have to jump to get from 75 to 60. We can either start at 75 and jump backwards, or we could start at 60 and jump forwards. Either way, but that is another way to think about the second step. Instead of doing 75 minus the part that we know, minus the 60, to solve for the missing part, 
we could take a look and see, well, we'll know she'll end up with 60, but she has 75 right now. So how much would I have to jump to get there? So I could start at 60 and see, oh, well, 75, the 6 became a 7, so it must have another group of 10 in it. So let me do a jump of plus 10. Well, 60 plus 10 is 70. Hmm, 7 and 7 but zero turns to five, so there are five ones. So it's going to be another jump of five plus five. And in this method, when you look at it, you wanna see how much you jumped. We jumped a 10 and a five, so we jumped 15. So that is another way to show the $15 in a different jumping way. But again, it uses the exact same concept. You get the exact same answer. It's just breaking the numbers down in a little bit different way, but either one would be correct. So either way, she would have $15 that she must have given to her brother. So $15, the same equation. We had 100. We subtracted out 25 to get to the 75. Then from 75, we had to take away another $60 to get to that 15. So here is method number two with our open number lines. Let's move on to our last method. Let's show this problem using our standard addition and subtraction. Now, from our place value block pictures, I already know that we're going to have to do some regrouping because remember, we had that one group of 100 and we had to cross it out and trade it. So let's see what that looks like using our numbers. So we start with the $100 and we need to take away 25, 100 minus 25. Now, think back to when we did it with the place value blocks. We had to cross out that big group of 100 and trade it in for 10 tens. But even when we traded it in for 10 tens, we still didn't have enough to get to our ones. So we had to take away a group of 10 and trade it in for 10 ones. So let's see what that looks like here. We start with our one, zero minus five. Uh-oh, we've got more on the floor. We need to go next door but there's nothing to borrow from next door. So we have to go next door again. This is when we crossed out that big square, that big flat group of 100. And when we crossed out one group of 100, we had no hundreds left. There were zero groups of 100 left, but it gave us 10 groups of 10. We saw that when we crossed out the big square and then we ended up with 10 rods, 10 groups of 10 left. But just like with our picture, we still don't have any ones. We still have zero ones. So we had to cross out and borrow from those 10 tens. So we got rid of one of those groups of 10. We left nine groups of 10. And it gave us 10 ones. So we just borrowed one from the group of tens, which made it nine groups of 10. And now we have 10 ones. Now we can do 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 2 is 7 and zero minus nothing is nothing. So there's where we get the 75 with our standard vertical addition and subtraction. So now, step number two. She's got the $75 right now. We know that she gives some to her brother, and then she has 60 at the end. So we need to take our 75, subtract out the part that we know to try and find the missing part. So let's start with our ones. Five minus zero is five, and seven minus six, is one. So there is how we get to that $15 that she gave her brother doing 100 minus 25 minus another group of 60 to equal 15. So like I said, this problem was a little bit trickier and they're going to keep getting trickier. So you have to be really careful trying to figure out what people are spending, what people are adding, and making sure that you do two steps. We know that this entire unit is two-step problems. So if you've only done one equation, you're probably missing something. So here is my work for our problem today. And I really hope that you share your work with me as well so I can reward you for still trying to keep up your math skills even from home. I miss you all very, very much. I hope you are enjoying your Wednesday afternoon. And I will see you again in another video soon. Bye, friends.